Well, it's perhaps the most exciting medical technology of the 21st century. Stem cell therapy holds promise of treating a number of diseases, and research is being conducted right here. That Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Medical is here to talk about, talk to us about their research into cell therapy. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, I want to talk about what cell therapy is all about, and we're going to show some video here, and I just want to let people know that for those that might be a little squeamish when it comes to shots, you might want to divert your eyes because it can be, it's a little, it's a little explicit, but I do think it, it really demonstrates what cell therapy is all about. So while we're watching, why don't you describe well, it for us? Cell therapy is the term that's been developed when we use your own cells to address a disease or injury. Mm -hmm. And in particular, what we do is we do a small amount of liposuction under local anesthesia and we harvest a small number of fat cells. Hmm. We then take that sample and do a little bit of processing and we isolate out of that two things, the growth factors and the stem cells. And that con collection, that gathering of growth factors and stem cells has a name that folks can Google at home. It's called stromal vascular fraction mm. or SVF. And you can actually Google SVF and get some information on what we're actually using because that's the product that has the features that we want to use. Well, and I think it's also important when people hear stem cell, there are immediately, there's, there's, it's like that can sometimes be a polarizing idea, but you, what you're doing here is actually removing your own cells. Yeah, a lot of interest and a lot of controversy right. about stem cells. Right. The interest is because of their potential. Mm -hmm. Stem cells have two really unique features. One, they have the ability to become other types of cells. So if I take a fat cell that's a stem cell, from your own it body. It can become right. muscle cells and cartilage cells and lots of other kinds of cells. That's a really exciting potential. The other potential that stem cells have is they can grow more. So just because, just because I harvest a few, or mm -hmm. we actually harvest millions, but they have the potential to grow many more. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it exciting. It has a fantastic ability fantastic a potential for regenerating or repairing tissues that have been diseased or damaged. And I want to talk a little bit later on about really the potential and the impact that it can have on a variety of different health concerns. But let's talk a bit more about the SVF and it can tell and, and the fact that it contains these cell, stem cells. Can you give us some more insights into that? The, the SVF contains two important things. Growth factors which are our body's main communicating proteins. Mm -hmm. And that's a really important factor because the growth factors have a dramatic anti-inflammatory effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's number one. The other piece is the stem cells. And we're talking about stem cells that we've gotten from your own fat. They're not from embryos. They're not from other persons. Mm -hmm. We can test the quality of the cells in the office and make sure mm -hmm. that we have adequate numbers and that they're alive. So all of the controversies that surround stem cells, this process of giving you back to you mm -hmm. has really gotten around the controversy. I think that's great. It's giving you back to you. You're not pulling it from a secondary source. You're pulling your own stem cells. So now let's talk about the impact that it can have on different medical issues. Well, we have, we're working under an investigational review board, which is real important because this is investigational work, it is research, and we have a group that's overseeing it. We have protocols in a number of diseases. We have protocols in osteoarthritis, people that have been told they need to have their hips or their knees replaced right. are very good candidates for this. We have protocols for some disorders like anti autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis or Crohn's disease. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of protocols and new protocols being developed all the time. Folks can go to the website and get more information. That's really exciting. This is a whole new spectrum to, to the services that you offer. One last thing I do need to say. Okay. This is patient funded research. Mm -hmm. So we are charging to have this done. So that's important to keep in mind. All right. Well, definitely keep that in mind. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Dr. Bill, and for more information about the Innovations Medical Stem Cells Center, you can call 214-699-6948 or you can log on to Innovation stemcellcenter.com. You can also email your questions to questions at innovationsstemcellcenter.com.